Okay, so sorry for the loss of the video signal. So I was just saying that uh, the uh, <coughs> the Anderson impurity model, if you do exact translation, you have fewer parameters to fit the hybridization function. But uh, with Monte Carlo, where the the hybridization function is uh, in principle obtained uh, with infinite precision at each uh, iteration, you have other problems. Uh, uh, that I won't go into here. So, so the last thing we needed to show is this um, uh, the connected uh, the link cluster uh, diagram uh, the theorem. So I start by proving this link cluster theorem, which is used a lot in when you use Feynman diagrams in the usual way with uh, with Wick theorem and so on. So how do we prove um, how do we prove uh, this theorem? So let me start with the um, uh, this uh, e to the minus f of x times uh, c of x. So if I expand this, this is just the sum n equals uh, 0 to infinity, 1 over n uh, factorial times uh, minus f to the power n times uh, c of x. Now you have to think that uh, x is like a multivariable, uh, multivariate. Uh, I mean, it's described by a multivariate probability distribution. So x is like a vector here. Yeah? So you have many, many uh, components, and the result I will show is sort of valid for probability theory uh, in general. So you will see it in many different uh, contexts. So uh, let's uh, continue with this now. So uh, minus f to the power n times a of x, I can write as follows. Sum over n equals 0 to infinity. Sum over l equals 0 to infinity of delta n plus l n. So that's a Kronecker delta. So I want n plus l to be equal to n. And now I'm going to divide uh, this into two uh, pieces. So there's a piece that is uh, minus f to the power n times uh, a to the a x connected times uh, minus f to the power m, uh, yes, f of, x, f of x all the time, I'm sorry, f of x, f of x, f of x, <coughs> to the power m. Times, times, that's very uh, important, times, n factorial over n factorial l factorial. Okay, what did I do here? Okay, the point is the following. Suppose that I have uh, f cube here. Hmm? And I have uh, a. And this is to the power n now. So I have f cube times uh, a. So I can, uh, I can, for example, take two f's that are connected to the uh, to the a, which means that I cannot factor this correlation function into lower order correlation function. But now, uh, how many ways are there to take two f's with an a? Well, there is a three factorial over two factorial one factorial, which is in this case three ways of taking two f's with the a. So this is this uh, combinatorial factor here. So I've divided this average into two pieces, a piece that is uh, connected with the a and a piece that is not connected with the, uh, uh, with the a. And I have this, uh, this combinatorial factor. So the piece that is connected with the A, in other words, cannot be factored into lower order correlation function. 
is what I call by definition the uh, connected uh, average. Okay. So now let me put this back into the previous uh, line. I put this back here. So what will happen? The n factorial will, will simplify. And when I do the sum over n, then this Kronecker delta will disappear, right? Because I'm certain there, I, I'm sure that for some n, I will satisfy n plus l. So I'm left on the right hand side with sum over l equals zero to infinity, sum over m equals zero to infinity of minus f of x to the power l times the a of x connected times minus f of x to the power n, which I don't mind if they are connected together or not, these, uh, uh, these f's, and the, I'm left with only this, uh, the n factorial disappeared, so I'm left with uh, 1 over n factorial, l factorial. Now, if I do the sum over n and l, you see that what I will get is c to the minus f of x times a of x connected. That's this piece. And, and with the l factorial here, I have resummed everything. And then with the n factorial, I resum everything, and that's e to the minus of x. So if this is equal to that, this is equivalent to this. Okay? So the, the, the e to the minus f of x can be used as a generating function for the moments of, uh, of, uh, of a. You know, I just need to take some linear function times uh, k, for example. And now what I'm going to, so that can be the generating function for the moment of A. Now I'm going to look at the uh, cumulant. In other words, I'm going to derive the formula that we used uh, in this uh, Anderson impurity uh, model. So the formula that we used in the Anderson impurity, uh, working with the Anderson impurity model, was the following. It was just that <coughs> uh, the expectation of e to the minus f of x was equal to the exponential of uh, the average of e to the minus f of x connected minus 1. So uh, another way to write uh, this is that the log, the natural log of this is equal to is equal to exponential of minus f of x connected minus 1. How do we prove this? Well, we will start with the, the previous result we just discussed. And it's a, just a couple of steps. It's not very complicated. So let us write uh, the expectation of minus lambda times the f of x. Okay. Now, if I differentiate this with respect to lambda, uh, what do I uh, 
obtain. Uh, I obtain, this is equal to uh, exponential of minus lambda times uh, f of x times uh, minus f of x. Okay, let me leave the minus for t. Would be f. Okay, so now, now for this object here, I can use this connected, uh, this this uh, link cluster theorem, in the in the, uh, the, the this statement in this form. So this will be the connected average. So this will be e to the minus lambda f of x times minus f of x connected, that's uh, this piece, and then I need to take this upstairs here. So that's the expectation of e to the minus lambda f of x, okay? So, <coughs> So now uh, we will we will we can divide this through, and then the left hand side becomes the derivative with respect to lambda of the natural log of e to the minus lambda f of x. Okay, and that's equal then. So this I've divided through, so that's just equal to this. But what is this? This is the derivative with respect to lambda of e to the minus lambda f of x connected. Now I, I, I integrate both sides uh, with respect to lambda. And we are done, you see, because on the left hand side, if I integrate with respect to lambda from 0 to 1, so I take integral from 0 to 1 d lambda, that will be that will give me the log of exponential of minus f of x. That's the this uh, evaluated at 1. And when I evaluate at 0, I have log of 1. Okay, exponential of 0 is 1, log of 1 is 0. So this is the integral of this side. Now, when I integrate uh, this side from zero to one, well, when I uh, when I uh, so I, I integrate the derivative. So this is the integral evaluated at lambda equals one is uh, this, and evaluated at lambda equals zero is just one. Okay, so I have so integrating this thing on both sides. Uh, gives me back uh, this result, okay? So this is the generating function for the cumulants of the uh, of this random variable. And again, you have to remember that, uh, you know, we are working here with x as a multivariate uh, distribution function. So it's very general theorem and in, in statistical mechanics, it is used uh, all the time. Okay, so we stop here. Thank you, see you Friday.